Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to Chateau Les Carras in the sunny south of France. Today we are having a look at house number 14B, which is a rather special property with this wonderful original tower, part of the original buildings, the outbuildings of the chateau, um, which were converted just over 10 years ago. And this is a beautiful three bedroom, 108 square meter uh, property with this rather nice bassin style pool very pretty garden with a lovely outlook onto the spectacular chateau building itself so the property has got a wrap around garden so you've got this front area here with plenty of terracing with this lovely travertine stone And then if we just have a look round the corner, we've got more garden, dining area, a shade sale, and double doors leading into the, uh, the side of the property. So as I say, three bedrooms, 108 square meters of living space. And we go straight into the ground floor where we have living room, dining room, kitchen, plus a little surprise. There on the right, you can see the door leading out to the, uh, the side part of the garden. Fully equipped kitchen. These kitchens have always got a full complement of um, um, a dishwasher, oven, hob, extractor fan, etc. These properties are fully air conditioned. So it's a ducted system. So what that means is you only see, you only see the vents up here uh, dotted around the property and you don't actually see sort of uh, air conditioning, internal air conditioning units. This is a really, really nice space down here. It feels to me bigger than 108 square meters, but that's the official measurement. Then as a little surprise, there's sort of this, this house has actually got sort of two surprises, if you like. The first part is this rather charming little study area, which is part of the tower. Which I think is rather cute. Got a nice view of the chateau there. Also on this floor, as you might expect, is a downstairs toilet. In here. These properties were uh, purchased off plan and were purchased fully furnished. And uh, when they're resold, 
Uh, they are, uh, of course, resold fully furnished. A bit of storage space for a hoover and uh, ironing board, etc. There, nicely disguised with this rather pretty curtain. And then from here we can go upstairs. And the hallway here leads us to three bedrooms. Each bedroom has got its own uh, ensuite. Got some original beams on the ceiling here, which are rather nice. Really nice cosy double room. You've got a built-in cupboard and then an ensuite shower. So here we've got a toilet, a wash basin, and then quite a generous shower. back to the hallway and then we're going to go straight on where we have another double also if I can back up a little bit you can see original beams so just as a reminder these uh, properties were created from the original outbuildings of this uh, this uh, wine domain so essentially they're new build inside an old shell. So you get modern construction, modern insulation, but the old character. You've got a couple of storage cupboards here. One there and a second one on the other side. And then from here we go through to an ensuite bathroom. More cupboard space on the right, toilet there, and then this time we have a bath with the overhead shower. So that's two, two doubles. Remember 108 square meters of uh, living space. And then the third bedroom, which I think most would consider perhaps as the master, is a dual aspect room. Uh, don't worry about the flickering lights. The lights are not flickering. It's all to do with the refresh rate of the camera. Please don't ask me what that means. I don't actually know. But it does mean that what I'm seeing is a normal light, whereas what you're seeing is a flickering light. Now this room, again, has got built-in cupboards, of course. There's the exit for the air conditioning, nice and discreet. Then we've got a toilet with wash hand basin. And then over the top or above the uh, the sort of the, the tower area that was the study downstairs, we've got this rather charming shower. Quite a funky sink. And then we go around the corner and here we have a shower. The 
what's interesting with this room, if I can get this on camera, is because we're in the tower, if we look up, that is the top of the tower. That's a height. So this is a really fantastic shower room. And makes a rather intriguing ensuite. So as we make our way back stair, uh, downstairs, just a quick recap of the facilities of the estate. So we've got uh, an on-site restaurant, uh, reception with concierge facilities. Then there's a, uh, an outdoor, uh, uh, outdoor bar, uh, a very, very nice, um, very large exterior infinity pool, which is heated typically from May through to the end of September. There's a tennis court, and if you've got young children, there's a relatively new, but uh, really rather nice, sort of little petting zoo. So this is uh, house number 14B, a three-bedroom property with a front patio garden, a side patio garden, a private pool with access to on-site facilities. There will be a link in the description below uh, this video taking you to the, uh, the full listing where you can read uh, more details about the ownership model of these properties, uh, the room sizes, etc. Uh, there should also be a floor plan I can put in there. And uh, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, ask any questions, and I shall be happy to answer. That's the end of the tour. Thank you so much for watching.